Would I be the a-hole for choosing to live with my mom's ex rather than her? My 16 female mom, 40 female, didn't have the best boyfriends when I was growing up, and that caused me to have a lot of issues now that I'm a bit older. So, when Jake, 35 male, came into our lives, it was amazing. He treated me like I was his kid, not something to be tolerated, and definitely never mistreated me as some had in the past. I remember he threw me a nice birthday party when I was 11 for the first time ever. It was just me and him and my younger brother because my mom was out of town. And he bought us pizza, a cake, he bought me a brand new sundress and took me to get my nails done. When I couldn't sleep at night due to past issues, he would make the best hot chocolates and we would watch TV and would tell me about his job until I got sleepy. When the dog chewed up my old stuffed animal to a point beyond repair and I was heartbroken, he took me to one of his friend's house and she had made me a new one that looked similar and wasn't stuffed. And they had me stuff the remaining bits of my old one into it and I still sleep with it every night. He got my ears checked and I got hearing aids after an incident with my mom's boyfriend before him. Took me to therapy and doctor's appointments, father-daughter dances, helped me with my homework, and made me want to be an engineer like him. So, when my mom broke up with him, I don't think she understood how hard it is for us kids. She just expected us to be okay being alone most of the time again, after six years of having him around all the time. I don't want to go back to my mom dating around, and I am tired of her never being around, then taking away the one parent we have ever truly had. When Jake left, he even made a point of getting a three-bedroom apartment just in case. He's currently working with my mom to see if he could get custody of us, even saying he would be willing to go to court for it. Jake takes care of us. He's the one that has been there for us, not mom. I know this because my mom comes home screaming at us about it. Her and I got in a heated argument over it the other night, ending with her kicking me out and spending the night at Jake's. She said that if we want to move in with Jake, she'd let us, but she never wants to see us again after that. I discussed it with my brother and we both want to go that route. She's my mother, yes, but hasn't been there for us and only put us in danger. Now for the top comments. Not day hole. If this guy is happy to take you in and can provide a stable and caring environment for you and your brother, while your mom isn't, I wouldn't hesitate if legalities permit. You may find your mom will come around after you move out, and you can have at least an arm's length relationship. If she doesn't, she's chosen herself over you, and you should do the same. It seems like it's not even a question of Opie choosing herself, as in happiness slash feelings, but her and her brother's literal health and safety over her mom, which they should not hesitate to do. Not day hole. Jake sounds like a fantastic dude and dad. It's about paying attention to the small slash huge things that make the most difference. The stuffed toy thing killed me. As someone else said here, don't give up on your mom though. She's imperfect but she might be talking out of hurt. Don't close that door. Mom kicked her teen out. Not sorry for the awful mom. The mom allowed a previous ex to harm this girl so severely that she needs hearing aids. Mom should have lost custody and been imprisoned for neglect, slash, complicity in child mistreatment. Some doors you don't close, but other doors you should slam shut. Stick with Jake Opie and don't look back. If this is in the US and a custody issue goes to court, ask for a guardian ad litem to be appointed for you. This is someone who will stick up for your interests and help you get the physically and emotionally safest living arrangement and will help you speak for yourself in court. Not day hole. However, you do need to be cautious. Mom does not sound stable, and Jake has no parental rights. She could report you kidnapped, accuse him of molestation or other things to get him into trouble. If this is something Jake wants to do, he needs to see an attorney as soon as possible and do it legally. Next story. Am I the a-hole for telling my ex to stay away from my daughters? Long story short, I, 34 female, thought he, 35 male, was cheating on me when he wasn't. We broke up a little over one year ago, and he wouldn't accept my attempts to get back together. But he still felt like it was okay to show up to my daughters, 17 female, 14 female, 12 female, events. They're not his daughters, but I tolerated it for a while because they want him there, and he did help me raise them for seven years. When he started dating again, I thought, okay, now he can move on. And I told my daughters to block him in social media, stop answering his calls, and avoid him if they see him in person. But earlier this year, I found out through third party that he had showed up to my 7-year-old's prom and had danced with her and taken pictures with her and her friends. 
I checked her phone and found out that she was the one who had invited him, so she got grounded. Last week, my 12-year-old was singing at a school recital and I saw him sitting on the other side of the auditorium with one of my friends. The auditorium was dark when my 12-year-old walked in, but somehow she knew just where my ex was and waved to him. I confronted him at my friend outside because 1. She didn't tell me she was dating him, and 2. She knew that I didn't want him around my kids. She said that her son was singing in the recital too, and he was there with her to watch him. I couldn't prove otherwise at the moment, so I had to let it go. But when we get home, I checked my 12-year-old's phone and saw that she had texted him, Are you coming to see me sing? Where are you going to be sitting so I can see you? So she got grounded. And of course, my 14-year-old betrayed me too, literally two days ago. My daughter was smart enough to delete her texts before I got to them, but I caught her. Her team's last soccer game for the year was on Friday and he showed up. My daughter thought I wasn't going to be at the game, but I was. I made sure to stay out of sight too, so I saw her when she kept looking over to smile and wave at him. After the game, I waited and sure enough she ran up to him and they gave each other a great big hug. I walked up and snapped at my daughter. Get in the car. You're grounded. And said to my ex, Are you a perv or something? Move on already. I don't care if they invite you. If you don't want to get back with me, stay away from them. It's weird. I don't care if they invite you. Say no. If I see you around them again, I'll file a restraining order. Today, my daughters asked if they could go hang out with some friends, and I said sure, but that if they went anywhere near my ex, he would go to jail because I filed a restraining order against him, which I didn't. Their jaws dropped, and they all started yelling at me, why would you do that? Which confirmed to me that they had probably been planning to visit him. I know I may seem like the a-hole, but I don't think I am, because it's weird for a man to be around another woman's kids this much. If he's not actually with a mother, stay away from her kids. Anyway, he's dating my friend now and she has kids, so he should be spending time with them. You're the a-hole. If you had played your cards right, you could have had a loving person in your children's lives. A person who you admit you wronged, who was falsely accused by you. Admit it. You're denying him access to the kids out of spite because he wouldn't take you back. Opie is toxic as heck. Straight up evil actions. Grounding all of her kids left and right for keeping contact with the only person who cares about them. Shaking my head. You're the a-hole. Seven years he was in their lives. That means the 17-year-old was 10, the 14-year-old 7, and the 12-year-old was 5. He was a big part of their childhood. He isn't doing anything inappropriate. The kids clearly want him to still keep coming to their events, or they wouldn't reach out to him. It's not their fault you ruined your relationship by accusing him of cheating. Be happy they have a supportive adult besides you. Stop controlling and snooping on your kids or they will most certainly go no contact. You don't understand. Her 12-year-old betrayed her by smiling and being happy. You're the a-hole. Save this post, so when your daughter stops talking to you, you can read this and know why. Should have to realize that children also have meaningful relationships and choice in their relationships. Why? She asks the internet. Oh, why would anyone hang around children they've raised when they're not with a mother? Ouch. Thank goodness someone thinks these kids are worthy of love. Next story. Am I the a-hole for ruining Christmas Eve for my ex's fiancé? My ex's family were complaining that they wouldn't see our son on Christmas because I was going to spend it with my family. Since they live fairly close to my parents, I decided to drop by on Christmas Eve so they could see my son. I didn't check in advance to see if my ex and his fiancé would be there, but unfortunately, they were. My ex's fiancé asked me why I was there and asked me to leave. I tried to explain I was only there so my ex's family could see my son, but she was yelling at me that I ruined everything, and I was doing this on purpose. Then she left because I wouldn't. The short story of why his fiancé hates me is because our son was conceived while they were already in a relationship which I wasn't aware of. So, am I the a-hole? Now for more info. Everyone sucks here. It sounds like you wanted a drama. It's not like they were your long-term family before she came along. Were you and your kid's dad ever actually together? Your ex sucks for banging you when he was already in a relationship. She sucks for yelling in front of your kid, but otherwise she's not so bad. We were together from 15 to 23 and friends before that, so his family were like family to me. Was this baby conceived after you and your ex broke up? 
Or were you still together and had this child and broke up after that? But you're the a-hole because you knew showing up if he and his woman were around could cause issues. We broke up, but we were talking about getting back together when he was conceived. I wasn't aware they were together until my friends told me that they had been sleeping together since we broke up. So he discovered actions of consequences. Not the a-hole. In the future, just call the grandparents in advance so you don't have to deal with the situation. By the way, I thought it was very thoughtful and sweet of you to give the grandparents a surprise visit. Info. What did the father of your son did when you arrived? And the rest of the family? Not the a-hole. It's your ex's responsibility to deal with his fiancé's Christmas happiness, not yours. And actually, you didn't ruin anything. You gave his family joy by bringing your kid along for a short visit. If his fiancé can't deal with the way he behaved overall, which is very sketchy by the way, that's their problem to solve. My ex was confused about why I was there since I never told him I would be coming. But his family were happy. They also tried to defuse the situation by separating us. Not day whole. He is. It's nice of you to make sure the grandparents get to see your son despite his father being a tool. Then why not call the grandparents to see if it's okay? Or why not drop the kid off? I know I should have called and will in the future, but my son is still a baby, so I don't feel comfortable just leaving him with people yet, even with family. Last story. Am I the a-hole for being angry because my husband told his friend exactly how much money I make? I, female 32, have been married to my husband, male 37, for a year. Before I met him, I started a small business which I eventually grew to a point of making a nice income. A really nice one. I'm by no means rich, but I'm well off. My husband, on the other hand, makes a minimum wage working at a shop. It never bothered me as we combine our finances. Unfortunately, he's been spending irresponsibly which has become a problem recently. But this is not about that. He invited his mates for a Christmas breakfast with their girlfriends slash wives, and we saw them this morning. All his mates are from his job so earn at a similar level. I didn't even think about it until it hit me when they started commenting in our house and pointing things out. Some comments of the wives were not so nice, which I don't think was meant for me to hear. Such as, I'm showing off, or it's too flashy, or money don't buy you taste. Said when looking at my green couch which is perfectly tame and normal. During breakfast, some of his mates had a few drinks. And not even wine. They had some lager and got giddy. Started asking how much things cost, etc. I dodged the questions, but my husband has been answering them truthfully. And eventually, he told them exactly how much I make. I was furious. I am very private about my finances. Not even my mom knows how much exactly I make. And here he is telling people I barely know my financial details. When they left, I blew up at him about that. And Lager I didn't know he had served with breakfast and having drunk people over at 11 a.m. He said that I'm uptight and should loosen up a bit. That is not a good look, and I should stop looking down at them just because they work in a supermarket. I'm not. I asked if that's how he felt, and he said that no. But they felt that I was showing off with being all dressed up when one of the wives showed up in pajama pants. He started going off, and I decided that I've had enough. He was drunk, and we wouldn't have any discussion. I'm still angry, so I told him I'm not going to his mom's Christmas dinner because I didn't want to show off, and stayed home. He is still at his mom's, absolutely wasted, and I'm just getting more and more angry and need a reality check. Am I the a-hole for getting angry with him telling people how much I make? So your husband is, one, spending irresponsibly when you have combined finances. Two, letting people insult you inside your own home. Three, getting drunk by 11 a.m. Four, sharing your private information with people you barely know. Five, ghosting you and running to his mommy's house. Not day whole. It's only been a year, OP. This is going to get worse. Consider your boundaries and then stick to them. Or you'll eventually start to feel guilty about being you. No one should have to deal with that from their life partner. Also, for what it's worth, Green Couch is awesome. And he's not only letting his friends insult his wife, he's actually encouraging and fueling it. That's the real reason he told them how much money OP makes, if you ask me. He was enjoying his friends berating his wife. And this was his way of giving them even more ammo to use against her. Passive-aggressive a-hole that he is. Exactly. He's not man enough to feel good about his wife's income. So he wanted them to berate her for her success.
So your husband had all his friends over for Christmas morning, and they used it as an opportunity to get drunk, scoff at your house, harshly judge you because of your income, and look down on you. Then tried to make it seem as if you were the one judging them. What a lousy group of people! And it seems as if your husband is proving that the old saying is indeed true: birds of a feather flock together. They all behave terribly and owe you an apology, especially your jealous husband, not the a-hole. Info. Does your husband have any aspirations in life besides being a drunk a-hole who looks on while his friends belittle you and then going to his mother's and getting further wasted when you understandably stand up for yourself? Very well stated. Obi, please consider this forming pattern and if it is truly what you want. You started off by saying it's not about his irresponsible spending, but you know that is just as much in play as the insults and a clear disrespect of your private information.